A multi-million dollar claim has now been filed against the state of California for damages in the Oroville spillway crisis. A farm in Oroville plans to sue the state after crops were wiped out in floodwaters. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is here now with more on this legal action. Angela. Yeah, Tony and Adrian, the claim alleges that this crisis could have been prevented had the Department of Water Resources done its job correctly, but instead it accuses the state of ignoring known red flags and causing a walnut farm millions of dollars in damages. When the Oroville Dam crisis hit, the floodgates opened. And downstream, the damage was done. This was known. It was foreseeable. It was just a matter of when, not if. Neil McCarthy is one of the attorneys representing Gem Farms in Oroville. The walnut growers were hit hard, losing 24 acres of trees, an estimated loss of $15 million. Their walnut trees are now literally underwater. They're part of the Feather River. Gem Farms has now filed a claim against the state of California, alleging the Department of Water Resources was reckless and negligent, accusing it of ignoring signs for years of a catastrophe that was certain to come crashing down. And in February, when the dam's main spillway failed, the DWR began releasing water, which flooded the farmland. McCarthy says that would never have happened had the state properly maintained the dam in the first place. And if you're the state of California, you have a uh, legal obligation to keep the people of the Oroville area and their property safe. And you simply didn't live up to your end of the bargain. The Division of Safety of Dams is also named in the claim, and McCarthy says he's certain even more claims will flood in, as dozens of other businesses and residents are also left hanging out to dry. Now, if the state denies this claim, the attorneys will then proceed with a lawsuit and a trial in which we are told state officials will have to testify about what they knew in regards to the Oroville Dam. We did reach out to the Department of Water Resources for comment, but never heard back. We, of course, will continue trying to reach them, and we'll let you know what officials there have to say. It will be interesting to hear what they say, although I don't think we're going to hear much. Yeah, yeah, not not terribly action. surprising that a lawsuit has come out of all of this, but certainly something we're going to have to follow. For sure. All right, Angela, thanks so much.